Hey guys, this is Outdoors Channel 44. I'm going to be doing another EDC video. This is going to be some upgrades of what the last video I did and um, some changes. I made some changes to what I carry, some stuff I don't carry anymore, and then I've gotten different stuff. So you can go over that video, watch that, and then watch this one, whatever you want to. And so, right, so I'm going to start off my keys right here. Got a key, a little uh, P, got a P38 right here. And this is a can opener. What I used to carry was the big P51, bigger bigger version of it. And this one's a lot better. It's stainless instead of, uh, I'm not sure what metal that is, but it's uh, it rusts. And I'm sure this one will eventually with all my keys here. But uh, this is a nice little, um, this is a nice setup. I like this one a lot better because it's smaller and it makes a smaller keychain. All right, so then you got a key, um, doohickey, key, key knife, sog key knife. This thing's pretty cool. I like it. Then here's a tick key, um, remo a tick remover, and then I've got a uh, little bit of paracord, a key, handcuff key, and then, all right, so that's my keychain. You got the idea. And then here's the knife I carry. In my front left pocket guys the only stuff I carry to school here is my phone my uh, watch I do not carry my phone in this phone case so my phone watch billfold uh, uh, belt handkerchief and my gun and then I'll carry a pencil so that's why I carry to school and then all this other stuff is what I put in my pockets when I get home from school so, um, this is the knife I would sometimes carry. I don't think I'm going to be carrying anymore because I just like this one better. I like the grip it has. It has a nice coating on it. I can get it open. It is a somewhat of a flip knife, and it takes a lot of force to get it open, but I just like it. It's a Remington, and then I just like it. And uh, I'm not carrying the Smith & Wesson anymore. One of my lighters here. Uh, this is a Zippo. I like it. It works. When I don't have fluid or this thing's out of fluid and I don't have time to refill it, I throw this little bick in my pocket. Works the same, but the Zippo just has a classic feel and this feels good in your hand. Okay, so on my multi tool right here, my other video I had two multi tools I would carry. Now I just carry this um, old timers here. I know it's in a Gerber case. The, oh, the the Leatherman case got worn out, so I went to the Gerber case. I don't carry the Gerber anymore. It's just too hard to use. You can go over to my other EDC video, and uh, you'll see that. This will probably be EDC part two or something. On, well, whatever. You'll see the name when you watch the video, or when you're watching the video right now. But uh, on this little button off here, I've had this for a long time. This is the case. It has a nice case to it, and it is a nice little knife. It's a somewhat of a skinning knife. It is a it's a it's a skinning knife, but I carry it. Um, it is a USA buck, as you can see right there, and I like it. It feels good in your hand. I've had it for a while, and I'm just it's just a good old knife because buck makes get some good stuff. So. Onto this knife to beside it. That's my Sog Trident. I know Sog Trident is a knife that you can carry in your pocket, but the clip messed up on me and I just didn't like it. And it carrying it in a case on your hip is better for the knife. It doesn't get as dirty, and it's just better for the knife. All right, so this knife has a seatbelt cutter and a glass breaker. Won't work unless the knife is locked. Won't open up right now unless you unlock it right there and then it will open up um i'm carrying in this because it's easier to get out it's easier to get out of this little case here rather than this because top of knife just barely um fits out of there and it's hard to get to i will show you i mean i can't do a video more than like 12 minutes or 11 minutes and something seconds 
see that's hard to get out I have to get my fingers in there and this is on my hip and it's just hard so that's why I don't use this anymore and I went to this this is a buck case where buck makes good stuff this was my papaw's case and it's this thing's probably 30 years old and it's still running strong and working so let me go to my flashlights right here this is a hundred lumen um, Bushnell flashlight it's a hundred lumens and this is a different one from the last video I did this be this not this uh, flashlight was in my other video I found this one in one of my first aid kits I lost it I thought I lost it a long time ago but I found it so I'm carrying this one because it's newer well actually it's older but it's in better condition so yeah so now I've got this little and they do work on AAA batteries if you want to learn more about it go to my Bushnell 100 lumen flashlight video and you can uh, learn more about that flashlight and this is basically the same it's just smaller takes one less battery of AAA same clip everything it's just 50 lumens a little bit dimmer and I've got this little tiny flashlight I carry sometimes not a lot this is the one I carry the most because it just feels the best in my hand and it gives the most grip because this is a, a self-defense flashlight and it's a good little flashlight too puts out a good bit a lot 100 lumens which now does make some lot brighter flashlights like a thousand lumens but you couldn't carry that in your pocket well you could but not for EDC and this is a little lot of carrying you can put this on your hat and it's 60 lumens doesn't look like it but it is I need to put a new battery in it but uh, this is a nice little lot it's waterproof too you can get these for like $20 at uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors and you can get these two at Walmart and these two I think are better flashlights but uh so let me go on to my fixed blades. My phone's in here too, and I'll well, I'll show you this real quick. This is why I carry my phone in. And there's a little tool in here. You can go watch my video that I did on this. Uh, Two dollar Walmart survival tool. Go look at that, and you can uh, see uh, more stuff about that. That wasn't in. Well, no, it was in my last video, but my phone wasn't. So yeah, and then. I've got my watch here. It's a Timex watch. I like a leather strap. I don't like any other kind of strap. This is the kind of watch I like. And uh, yeah. Now to my fixed blade. Sorry about that. So my first fixed blade here is a old timer's little nice knife. It fits good in my hand. I just love this knife. I've had it for a long time, and it's a um, good knife. Old timers make some good stuff too, and I'm going to be getting a knife that I can that the sheath of it it's going to be like a polymer sheath, and it's going to have a clip on it like this so I can carry it any angle, so I can carry like a scout carry I can on the back of my belt, and I just want, I think I like that better. So I'm going to do that, and I'll have another video, um. Do a video on that once I get that knife. I'll probably have some other stuff that's changed since then. So that'll be here soon, maybe a month or two. But uh, here's a, my mossy oak knife. This was in the other video. It has a retention thing here. That I mean, it's pretty good there. I would be, I would feel comfortable with just that and nothing like this. And I got this at Walmart for Christmas. Well. My uncle got this for me for Christmas, but uh, so you get in a pack like this. This is just a smaller version. It comes with this on this, but I cut that off and burn it, and it works a lot better. And I no, I carry this one. I would carry this one too, but it's a little big. And if I want to carry a big knife, I'm going to carry this one. But uh, this is my little other knife I like. But uh, that that's the modification, so you can see the difference there. So we got that, and then this is my buck I carry to buck 119. It feels good in the hand. It's a pretty blade. It's made in the USA, and it's the 119 E, and it's just a all-around good knife. And the sheath on it is awesome. You won't ever lose your knife out of this, and unless a grizzly bear attacked you. But uh, guys, I hope you like this video. And then I've always I got my handkerchief. You gotta have a handkerchief.
So, guys, I hope you liked this video. And please subscribe if you did. And don't forget to like it. And guys, get outside, do something fun, and live a dream every day.